The transition from the baby industry and the toy industry into artwork was a wonderful one. He's always done jewelry from when we were together, right from the beginning, but before that as well, he would do jewelry for his mom. Jewelry has been a part of my life for most of my life. My mom loved, loved, loved jewelry and couldn't afford Ford Ford jewelry. And she worked for jewelry and I wanted to learn more and then I started making it and I would make her a piece and then I would meet one of the jewelers or you just get to know people and ask questions. And I started dabbling in it as a kid. And then as I grew, when I needed to make a piece of jewelry, I just know how the process and how to do it. And so then I just started building it. It was just always fun. Scotty has a vision and then he pulls it together. He didn't want to be just another artist out there, you know, selling his wares. He wanted it to have something special and to kind of be set aside from, from other artists and to stand out. If you want to know what his painting's about, look at the cross. Touch the cross, wear the cross, there you go. That's it. So when he's building it, it has to have the feeling of that piece and the feeling of the night. Everything that is behind the painting, the sexy evening. And he sculpts it all out of wax after, you know, does sketches, says what it wants it to look like, goes off of the sketch. You take that and it goes into a thing called an investment, which is a plaster casting. So then we build an investment. You put the plaster mold into a kiln, you burn the wax out, and so you're left with just the plaster impression of what the wax was. After that, it goes onto a vacuum table and we vacuum cast. Heat up some silver, burn it up to a little liquid, pour it in the mold. After we're done cooling it, then we, you know, you'll see it come out and it just looks like this molting piece of garbage. You have this cross that looks like a rock and you have to file it, sand it, and buff it, and sand it, and buff it, and sand it, and file it, and buff it until it looks pretty. And that's one. I love crosses. <laughs> he just thought that was a nice place to start. And um, the whole concept was that not only do you buy a piece of art, but as like an extra, you get another piece of art which you get to wear. It's better for the buyer in that they have something to take home with them. And it, it's like physical. They can have it in their hand. And it's heavy. It's like, it's awesome. And each one kind of, I think, has its own personality and resembles the painting. Angie's really always kind of pushed me to paint. My mom liked to paint with oils, and I'll be honest with you, I felt it was a little, little grandma-y stuffy. My mom paints with oils, ugh. But my mom had all the paint, she had an easel, and I, you know, it's like, that's all I need. I had all the gear. I wanted to do something that kind of set me aside from everybody saying, he's not just a painter. I mean, I'm a builder, a, a, I'm, a, I'm, an, I'm an artist, but a, a building artist guy that creator of craft. People do landscapes and you know, you know, God bless them for doing landscapes and if that's what they want to do is paint leaves and little sticks, you know, that's great. I'll, I'll take the brush and poke my eye out because I'm so jittery trying to, uh, more, it gets overwhelming just painting leaves, oh, leaves, it, it, I, I can't do it. I do a lot of booby pictures and because, you know, frankly, I like them and to paint a booby is so much more fun than painting a block of cheese.